got the equalizer. But again, we're down to penalties. First up for Garvin Maceo, Robinson. Malik Robinson. Can he convert? Oh, yes, he can. The Cubans with the advantage. Yeah, that was emphatic as well. Yeah, guess the right way, but no saving that one. So, the super sub. I'm able to have a super save there. Clarendon College looking to get back level in the shootout here. Okay. Douglas scored in first half stoppage time. This is where it really matters now in this shootout for CC's number seven. He made it look so easy. Cool customer, Malachi Douglas. Yeah, when you played him so quick and what he did was just to look at the, the keeper and just watch him go away. It's penalty shootout here between Formia as well, Glenn Muir and Dintil. They went to penalties as well. Glenn Muir in the final, winning that penalty shootout by four goals to two. So who will join Glenn Muir? We're on their patch here. Yeah. Tyreek McKinley for Garvin Maceo against Rodney. McKinley scores. Rodney felt he was close there. But Garvin Maceo, they've made it two from two. Yep, that one looked close. Let's have a look here. Straight yeah. down the middle. Yeah, just felt that he could have used his legs. Hasn't paid off yet for Clarendon with this change of goalkeeper. Dixon has scored 25 times already this season. He would trade those 25 for this one. Well. <laughs> At this stage. At this stage, I suppose. <laughs> Pressure mounts. On the Clarendon College, this is leading goal scorer Dixon. And as usual, he's going to take his sweet time. We don't have lights here at Glenmuir, so. Well, <laughs> with all that, he, for <laughs> he, he better score. <laughs> he has to score. <laughs> Dixon scores. The Knew showman <laughs> did enough. 2-2 two -two in the shootout. Glenmore waits, but wanting sure. It's an all Clarendon final, but yeah, that was sure as well. The captain walks to the spot. Clear clock. Can he convert? Will he convert? Clock for Garvin Maceo. Saved! Rodney comes up big for Clarendon College! And Garvin Maceo missed from 12 yards, and you wouldn't have written that script. Clark. Well, it has been written many times in world football that the big stars are the ones that missed. And on this occasion, Cleo Clark expected to score not well taken wasn't too much wasn't so well placed in the corner and a big star once again didn't shine from 12 yards and it's advantage clarendon college 
but can they take that advantage? Theon Kupi now wants to make use of the advantage here. Can he deliver? Kupi. Yes, he can. Yeah, really good penalty there. Yep, well placed. That's what Cleo Clark wanted to do. Garvey must continue to score. Clarendon College, 3 2 ahead. After three tries each. Williams scores, making sure that they don't go further behind. He came on specifically for this purpose, purpose um, fulfilled. Yeah. Hull has had a decent game. Yep, needs to be capped off here. He knows he has a big job here, Maxwell. Oh, he has come up Trump several times in the game for Garvin Maceo. Can he stop Christopher Hull? Oh, he got a hand on it, but Hull had too much power. Yeah, when you hit them that hard, it's always going to be difficult to stop. And again, proved difficult on that occasion. Maxwell, valiant effort just now. And you could see Rodney just gesticulating to Maxwell that you almost lost your hand with that one. Yeah, that was a thumping penalty. Yeah, got a hand to it, but yeah, no stopping that one. Deflected, yes. Stopping, no. A lot of pressure on this young man now. Yeah. Omarion O'Brien. Potential match point. He has to score. He must score for Gavin Maceo to stay in this. O'Brien misses. It's wide of the mark. And the defending champions are back in the Augusta Cup final. The exhibitors of the beautiful game in the rural area will grace at the Costa Cup final again. And the unbeaten run stretching across two seasons continues. And they will fly their flag high into the national stadium in the aim of another the Costa Cup crowd. Garvin Maceo disappointed, couldn't repeat the success of two semi-finals ago. But Clarendon College will be open to repeat the success of last year. The champions back at it again. And remain unbeaten at this level in terms of school point football. The Costa Cup from last year to this season would have been tough for them to lose this one. Their first game would have been their first loss and they'll be out. But that's not happening here. They march on to another the Costa Cup final and a chance to go back to back again. This is the team that has dominated rural era football in recent times and they're set to do it again. It's an all Clarendon final. They join Glenmuir. And we see the embraces here. Good try, Garvin Maceo. Pushed them all the way. Took it to penalty. And we could see their manager there. Literally brought to tears. It matters. It really matters. And for them, they get revenge. It 
went all the way to penalties but the fans jubilation here and Douglas for his exploits scoring two penalties never easy